Hello and welcome everyone. I hope all of you are keeping in good health. So I have received a lot of requests for a video on Sprinkler and though a friend of mine works at Sprinkler as a product engineer, we have been trying to coordinate and record a video but we were unable to complete it due to our complimentary schedules. And since a lot of you have been waiting for this video, I requested him to write down his experience in detail and I will be sharing it on his behalf today. So with this disclaimer, let's begin with our discussion about the product engineer role at Sprinkler. We'll be covering a whole bunch of information about the different roles offered, the tech stack used and the kinds of benefits offered. And as usual, uh, we'll try to share our experience regarding the preparation and the resume and projects and also the different kinds of application procedures that are in place. Also, we'll cover my friend's interview experience in this video. Uh, the timestamps for each section is uh, there in the description, so feel free to jump to relevant section of your choice. So, let's begin with a quick introduction of the company. So, uh, Sprinkler is a SaaS company that helps their clients manage their customers' digital experience across various platforms. Uh, when Sprinkler came on campus, it offered two kinds of roles. One was product engineer and the other was platform engineer. Within these roles, there are further segregations for full stack, backend, frontend, Android, iOS and ML. But everyone in college was finally offered the product engineer role. In terms of the team and work culture, the work culture is really good. Uh, it gets a little hectic around the product releases but mostly it is really awesome to work at Sprinkler and the best part is the people you get to work with they are really really smart and the hiring process is tough so it makes sense that you will find a lot of smart people in Sprinkler and it, it is a great learning experience I mean you get to learn so many new things and the learning curve is also pretty steep also, Sprinkler is quite famous for quick promotions and a lot of young people in the leadership positions, so which, which is a really great advantage. The tech stack varies widely across roles and teams, but most of it is industry relevant tech stack and the latest technologies. In terms of benefits and pay, Sprinkler has one of the highest packages in the tech industry for freshers. It offers 25 lakh INR base plus 5 lakh INR to freshers joining as product engineer. The package is slightly higher for the platform engineer position. And Sprinkler offers a stipend of 2 lakh INR per month for tech interns. And obviously it offers all the possible perks and benefits that any MNC can offer. Moving on to the requirements and preparation part, the GPA cutoff for applying was 7 in their on-campus drive and uh, as, as I've told you before, we had to apply through our college placement portal and finally Sprinkler hired two people for the full-time role in our year but this year they hired a lot more number of students, I, I think it is around 15 if I'm not wrong. For off-campus application it is the same way as any other company you can go on the job portal and look for relevant jobs based on your years of experience and skills and then you can apply directly via the portal or reach out to someone on LinkedIn for referrals in terms of preparation I think DSA should be the main focus try to practice as much as you can on lead code because in Sprinkler you cannot expect just brute force based questions they ask questions from all topics like graphs, DP, strings and so on. Sufficient practice on lead code would be really helpful. And though CP is not necessary, but it helps you uh, getting used to finding solutions in less time. So having some experience of CP is always helpful, but lead code is sufficient. And then they also ask questions from core subjects like DBMS, OS, networking etc. in both interviews and online tests. So be prepared with these as well. Though in interviews you always have the option to tell the interviewer that this is not your strong subject. 
but anyways you would have to face these questions in the online test so i do not think there's an option to skip these core subjects and lastly they also discuss your projects and past internships in the resume uh, they do sometimes go into the details of your projects and internships asking you to completely explain what you made then they also ask questions uh, like oh, why did you choose this particular tech stack what was your approach what is the viability and use case of your project so interviews also sometimes discuss the possible improvements in your projects and the way you could have solved the existing problems in your design and approach so a good advice here is that please refrain from mentioning internships and projects that you haven't actually worked on because it would be really easy for the interviewer to find out whether you have actually done it or not also try to put good meaningful projects on your resume because the time spent on project uh, project discussion during interviews would save you from solving a few extra dsa questions in the interviews that pretty much covers the resume and projects part as well moving on to the interview experience uh, the first round was an online test there were mcq questions from dsa like q stacks trees and also from core subjects and there were three programming questions as well uh, all of which were of medium category and above first question was an application of union and find algorithm for graphs second question was a prefix sum approach based question and third question was a ad hoc dp question people who were able to solve two out of three questions completely were shortlisted uh, give, given the fact that you did your mcqs really well because there were people who solved all three questions also post the online test there were three interview rounds in the first round they asked questions from dbms related to indexing how to apply indexing implementation of indexing and it was more of a discussion then they asked questions from previous internship and projects they went into details of uh, my friend's data science related project then uh, he was asked a hash map based question after this uh, they had a discussion on sorting algorithms in which they asked questions like which algorithm is the best algorithm which algorithm is implemented in java and c++ libraries advantages of quick sort over merge sort and so on and then he was also asked to draw the recursion tree for merge sort and explain the time complexity after this they asked a weird question on linked list in which uh, he had to perform some operations on the linked list without altering its original structure or copying it into a new linked list so they they had a long discussion on various approaches and they kept increasing the constraints after every approach in the second interview he was asked to implement a pinball type of game assuming the whole area of pinball as a 2d matrix and ob obstacles and paddles in various cells he also had to program the solution on paper which he did in c++ the solution had to be a rudimentary one and they were mostly uh, interested in the approach and your way of thinking and the discussion that you do while implementing and in the third round which was uh, hours after the second one he was asked to implement merge sort for linked list and he had a discussion on his previous internship so a very important thing to note here is that sprinkler is really particular about the quality of code you write and in all the rounds you have uh, you have pen and paper round so like you have to code on paper so uh, try to follow all the good coding practices uh, i mean as far as possible and write concise and modular code like code quality was a reason for rejection of one or two people so be very particular about your code quality so with this i think uh, this pretty much sums up my friend's complete experience and his learnings throughout the process uh, i hope you found this video helpful in case i miss something as always mention in the comment section and we'll try to address 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग गाइज स्टे सेफ एंड कीप लर्निंग